is section 2 which is uh, 50 marks it consists of eight questions uh you are supposed to answer five out of the eight each question is 10 marks so five questions we equal to 50 marks uh, so this is uh, question number 17 we are told uh, pump P can fill an empty tank water tank in seven and a half hours while pump Q can fill the same tank in 11 hours 11 and a quarter hours on a certain day when the tank was empty both pumps were opened for two and a half hours uh, but a determine the fraction of the tank that was still empty at the end of the two and a half hours and you get two marks uh, so we can say first of all we need to find uh, how much uh, the the two the two pump can fill in one hour so one hour we can say it is uh, so we say one hour uh, pump p was uh, we can write seven and a half is two times seven is 14 it is 15 divided by two so in one hour uh, if we take p it will fill one divided by one over that is uh, divided by 15 over 2 that is what we p will fill uh, we can write that properly let's say we say in one hour p will fill 1 divided by 1 divided by uh, 1 that is 15 divided by 2 uh, then you add what is to be filled by q uh, which is 1 divided by uh, it takes 11 hours and a quarter for, uh, to to fill so you multiply 4 times uh, 11 that is 44 45 so it is uh, 45 over 4 uh, which you will be able to get when you write the inverse this is 2 over 15 uh, you add to uh, uh, 4 divided by 45 uh, so this you'll be able to get if you add this uh, you'll be able to get uh, that is uh, 10 over 45 which is equals to 2 over 9 this means that uh, in two and a half hours if one hour this is one hour so in uh, you can say in two and a half hours in two and a half hours since they take uh, this to, to they fill 2 over 9 in 1 hour so you just say 2 over 9 you multiply by 2.5 2, 2, 2 and a half is 5 over 5 over 2 that is 5 over 2 and when you multiply this uh, you will be able to get uh, you will be able to get 5 over 9 so in two and a half hours uh, the two pipes will fill two and a, at five over nine of the tank uh, so what is the, uh, the empty so we can say empty uh, is uh, one minus five over nine and this will give you two over nine so that is a part that will be uh, that is not two but uh, four over nine four over nine uh, empty so you get four marks for that uh, in uh, part B pump P was later opened alone to complete to completely fill the tank determine the time it took uh, pump P to fill the remaining fraction of the tank so the part that is remaining to be filled is actually uh, 4 over 9 uh, so you divide by p is taking uh, 1 divided by 15 over 2 which is equals to 4 over 9 divided by 4 over that is uh, 2 over 15 when you write the inverse of this uh, which is equals to 4 divided by uh, 9 you multiply by 15 divide by uh, 15 divided by 2 uh, which when you simplify uh, you can simplify here by 2 is 1 
by 2 is 2 by 3 is 3 uh, by 3 is 5 uh, so you'll be able to get this is equals to uh, 10 over 3 uh, which is equals to uh, 3 and a third hours so that is the time uh, the number of hours the neural number of hours P will take to fill the tank and there you get two marks uh, but see the two pumps P and Q are operated by uh, different operators uh, water from the full tank was sold for 15,750 Kenyan shillings. The money was shared between the two proprietors in the ratio of the quantity of water supplied by each. Determine the amount uh, of money received by the proprietor of pump P. So coming back to part A, uh, you can see, so we are dealing with the uh, with P, uh, so we can say total time to fill the tank. So total time to fill the tank uh, is equals to uh, they took two and a half hours uh, to fill the P and Q, uh, then uh, P took three and a third hours uh, you, when you add this you can write into fractions or you can just use your calculator and uh, add up the fractions if you if you are comfortable adding up fractions you will be able to get that they they used five the one the five and five over six five and five over six this is five over six hours so that is the time that it took to fill the tank. Uh, so you can say uh, P supplied. So uh, P, uh, you see that now it uh, took uh, 2 over 15. Uh, you multiply by uh, 5 and 5, uh, 5 over 6. So this is equals to that is uh, the amount uh, supplied by P, this is 7 over 9 because P, uh, P uh, supplied 3 and a half hours and it had supplied uh, 2 and a half hours so that will give you 7 over 9 uh, the amount supplied by P uh, so this means that you will be able to get uh, that uh, amount for operator for P will be 7 over 9 you multiply by 15 the amount that the, 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 the that, that was fetched this is 750 and this you will be able to get 12,250 uh, Kenyan shillings so that is the amount that uh, P would get after from what uh, they, they, uh, the piece of pride so that is uh, uh, you add up uh, three and uh, that plus two and a half that will give you five and uh, five over six uh, then in an hour so that uh, you two over two over five two over fifteen that is the amount supplied by uh, by P then you'll be able to get the amount and that is how you solve that you'll be able to get four marks so in total you should add up, the, 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 the mark should add up to 10.